On the Business Courier front page centerpiece this week is Union Terminal worth saving. Weeks after the proposal to save both Union Terminal and Music Hall was rejected by Hamilton County Commissioners and replaced with a plan to just save Union Terminal, the question becomes, is this plan terminal? The original plan was put forward by members of the Cultural Facilities Task Force, a who's who of executives from Cincinnati's largest companies and civic institutions. The decision by commissioners not to put the tax plan to save both iconic Cincinnati institutions on the ballot angered members of the task force, who'd spent nine months and thousands of hours developing what they thought was a bulletproof plan to save both. If they weren't going to give the voters the chance to say yes or no to Bob McDonald and, and Procter and & Gamble's plan for our region, they should have said so nine months ago before all these folks put in all this time and energy and before they asked us to commit more money, which we did. Late last week, the Museum Center Board voted to support the sales tax and must now decide, decide how it can make the plan work and sell the public on it. The plan calls for raising the Hamilton County sales tax from 6.75% to 7% for five years. Commissioner Chris Monzel told Business Courier reporter Chris Wetterick that he's not sure he would personally vote for the tax. Chris wrote the cover story this week and joins Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio with more on his analysis of the icon tax dilemma. Guys. Thanks, Peg. Chris, thanks for being here. Great, great analysis. Thanks. Now, late last week, Chris Monzel said, yes, he would support it. Yeah, we asked him, uh, yeah, just on Friday morning, uh, you know, whether he would vote for it, and, and he would. You know, his explanation for that was he wasn't sure when they put the uh, tax increase on the ballot for voters to decide upon whether that it would get the support of, of Union Terminal's board and the supporters of the ICON tax. So now that it has gotten their support, he's on board with it as well, so, with his own plan. So what's changed? that the task force and the union terminal board are now supporting it. Well, you know, they explained it as, you know, they were shocked by the commissioner's vote to take Music Hall out. They thought they had a plan that was bulletproof that mm -hmm. really took care of the problems at both yeah. buildings. Um, in the last couple of weeks, they've been meeting with the county staff to try to figure out financially how this would work. They believed originally that it would not work financially, that it would jeopardize some of the grants and some of the state and federal tax credits they could get to, um, you know, to put this plan together. Their concerns have been met, and uh, you know they're on board today. So now they have to put it before voters. Right. What's the biggest challenge? You know, I think the biggest challenge is they, you know, in voters' minds, probably they remember this uh, going down rather, you know, messy. You know, yeah, and yeah. so now they've got to convince voters that, hey, we were, you know, we were kind of hasty in our, you know, denouncement of, of this, and uh, we think we can make it work. They still don't have really the finances all, to, all put together. That's expected to be done in the next month. Mm -hmm. the, the election's in November, so <laughs> time's running out. Time's running out. Well, I'm sure you'll be following it as we move forward, and there's lots to still follow. Absolutely. Thanks, Chris. Peg, back to you. All right. Thanks, Kelly and Chris.